Hey engineers, so for this video you will be learning how to make a balsa wood bridge. Keep in mind we are going to go over the design, how to cut, how to sand, and how to bind your balsa wood using these trigger clamps or these office clamps or binder clips. All right. So you will need a cutting tool, preferably a box cutter. If you can't get your hands on this, just get something that can just make an incision on your balsa wood and then just snap it. All right, so please enjoy this video and try it out. So now that we've read our rules, we are ready to start drawing. But keep in mind that you will need a blank sheet of paper, a pen, and a ruler to get this done. All right, so for my drawing, this will be done in centimeters and this will be in a one to two scale. So this means that every one centimeter that I draw on the paper, in real life that'll be two centimeters, any five centimeters that I draw on paper will be 10 centimeters. So you just double up in real life. Before you actually do your drawing, I highly recommend to keep this neat, draw a sample diagram on a separate sheet of paper. So this is what I have over here. So this is my end product. In this situation, I will have my side view in the bottom left area, the front view on the right side, and right above my side view, my top view will be displayed. All right. And this will be done to limit the amount of measurements that are seen on the paper. So this leg will be 7.5 centimeters. And I don't need to write centimeters because I'm already going to mark up my other larger paper uh, with centimeters. My overall length will be 39. 0.5 centimeters. All right. My overall height will be 20 centimeters, while my bottom section will be 10 centimeters tall, and my other section will be varying in height because of the thickness of our beams. So remember, we are stacking our vertical columns on top of our horizontal columns. So just keep that in mind that this will influence um, the height at which our middle column will be at. So I'm just going to stay away from writing that out. But since our leg is 7.5 on this side, our other leg will also have a length of 7.5 centimeters. So if we add these two numbers up, we get 15 centimeters. And that takes into account this space that will not have a bar on the very top. So we need to consider these two lengths to get the maximum length here. All right. So that will be 39.5, our maximum length, minus 15 centimeters from our legs and that will be 24.5. So our top segment here will be 24.5 centimeters long. All right, so that pretty much sums up what we would be doing. Um, so get ready for the hyperlapse. Since it's a scale drawing where we're using a scale of one to two, every one centimeter will be proportional to two centimeters in real life and every five centimeters will be proportional to 10 centimeters in real life. So in this situation, since in real life I am building a bridge that's 7.5 centimeters long, I need to draw half of that on my sheet of paper. So 7.5, we divide that by 2. So 7.5 centimeters in real life will be proportional to 3.75 centimeters in the drawing. So now that we have our bridge drawn, let's actually start planning how we're going to cut up our pieces. We are going to start off with this long horizontal piece right here that is going to be 39.5 centimeters long. I want to start putting the bottom together and then we'll work on the top. 
we are going to cut out this piece here all right the second one this length and then we're also going to cut out this one i'm going to mark it as a number two because they're the same length all right and i also want to mark it like this to remember that these are the same size now i am going to cut out one two three four pieces so these are the third sets of pieces that i will be cutting and i'm going to mark them off with two dashed lines to note that they're all the same length keep in mind since we care about our height and i'm going to make the bottom of this piece here and the top piece here i'm going to make this distance 10 centimeters all right so the bottom face of this piece of balsa wood and the top face of this balsa wood will be within 10 centimeters all right so anyways um let's start cutting these pieces up So at this point we have our two horizontal pieces cut for our bottom legs and we have our long horizontal piece cut out as well. We're going to start cutting off our one, two, three, four vertical pieces that go in between these three components right here. All right. Keep in mind, I do want a distance of 10 centimeters between the bottom of this horizontal piece and the top of this horizontal piece. So now we need to take into account the width of both of these pieces combined. So I'm going to measure this out and it comes out to about 1.3 centimeters if I combine these two pieces. So with that said, we need to factor that in for our other piece. So we're going to do 10 minus 1. So that's going to go back to the one centimeter. So I'm going to do 10 minus 1.3. So I get here, get that, 10, and I'm going to set it. as well. So I'm going to set it and it's 8.7. So now I need four vertical pieces that each have a height of 8.7 or a length of 8.7 so let's start cutting so this is a quick reminder that you should mark up your wood very small all right we're going to sand this off later and this is my number one piece notice that i have been marking my pieces out here and um, these bottom pieces will be number twos all right so now let's go ahead and get our threes so we need four of these vertical pieces So now that I have my first vertical piece cut out that's at 8.7 centimeters, I am going to start using it to cut out my other three pieces. Now that we have our four pieces cut out, um, they are not perfectly the same, so we're gonna get close to perfection. We're gonna get them to look good by sanding them down. So now that I have my four vertical pieces cut out, I'm going to test out their height to see if they're exactly the same or close to each other. So I'm going to do that by placing them in between my two horizontal pieces. And notice if I can pull out some of these easily, that means that they are not the same height. Now that we have our pieces cut out, sanded, we're ready to start gluing, but before we do, we need to mark up our top horizontal bar to make sure that our legs are symmetrical. So now we're ready to start gluing. We have our pieces marked up, our vertical and horizontal pieces um, cut and sanded. We have our supplies like glue, 
our office clamp, and our tape. All right, so we'll save the tape for the end. We'll hold off with this right now, and we'll start off with the glue. So now to check if this is a 90 degree um, bind, you can put another piece of balsa wood since these do have right angles on each side. All right, place that gently and just to move your piece a little bit to make sure that you have a 90 degree angle. All right, so at this point, I realized that I only had one of these clips and I found out that they're called binder clips. I've been calling them office clamps, but technically they are clamps, but they're binder clips. So anyways, you can find these at Walmart. I went out on a 30 minute journey and I left this piece driving, drying for 30 minutes and let's see what it looks like. So overall it is pretty sturdy, all right? But I'm not gonna mess with it right now and I'm just gonna continue binding pieces so once again, if you need more of these binder clamps, um, technically office clamps, um, you can just buy these at Walmart. They're pretty cheap. So this, this package was about uh, three bucks. This one was around five dollars and I got a bunch of clamps and we'll see how these work out. <laughs> guys so this pretty much wraps up this video you should have enough knowledge and skills after watching this to go ahead and bind the rest of your bridge together